Charterman, 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 Big white nerd. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, announcing the winners of my 5,000 subscribers contest. I want to say thanks so much, you guys, for entering the contest. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, you guys all did awesome jobs on your contest entries. Thanks so much. It's a huge honor for someone to go out of their way and make a video just dedicated to celebrating someone's uh, milestone and their subscribers. So, you know, it really means a lot to me, and I really, really appreciate all you guys doing that. And you guys all had really nice things to say. You guys just didn't do your entries, but you gave some kind words, and, and I really appreciate that, and thanks so much. So, I want to say a couple of things before, like, you know, we get to announcing the, the winners. And by the way, I'm having a very special guest announce the uh, the winners for you guys. Um, first, of all, first off, I want to say please, 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 for those of you who did not win and wanted to win, don't get butt hurt, okay? Now some of you guys say, "Oh, I enter a contest just to, just because it's fun to do," and I do that. I do that too. But for me, I enter to win, man. I work my ass off on videos, uh, on on my ACBA entries and everything. So for those of you that busted your ass and you didn't make it, sorry, but I really appreciate the entry anyway, and I feel you, okay? I feel you because look, me. I come in second place, third place in most contests anyway, and, and like I said, I entered to win, man. Right here, I want to say thank you actually to the King Beast man, because I got second place in the battle show. And it's kind of funny because there's only three contests where I've came, come in third place. That's Ghetto Gypsies contest, JV6481's contest, and Jerry Nightmares contest, and thanks to three of you guys. But, and thanks to everybody else, you know. Uh, I, I, uh, I know Boog, I came in like second place, that was, that was a hard one to swallow, and, um, and quite a few others that I've, I've come in second, third, or didn't even come into the top three or anything like that. But, the thing is, for the battle show, I got second place right here, you can see it right there, it says the battle show in ACBA second place. This actually represents how I stand in the community very well. So I want to say big thank you man, so thanks a lot. I'm not really bitching about coming in second place. I'm not. It's just I want to say that I can relate to the disappointment. So please don't be butthurt about it. Okay, so without further ado, the top six entries will be presented by the gorgeous, the very sexy, the lovely Charlita One. Yeah. So at number six, we have Miss Scarlet Witch. Miss Scarlet Witch did a great job. I thought she was very, very original. Uh, somebody that I never heard of before. Uh, she had Conan the Barbarian versus uh, Valkyrie, which I thought was really cool. And I thought that she was kind of pushing the limits of the Marvel Universe. Because uh, Conan the Barbarian is somebody that is Marvel, but a lot of people don't think about. And I thought the poses were really cool. Uh, I thought the cutouts were cool. The background was actually really, really, really impressive. So I thought it was a great entry, and uh, I gave her number six. At number five. X Webhead X. X Webhead X's entry was awesome, man. I really, really liked it a lot. Especially because I felt like he was paying a lot of tribute to me, to, to my entry in Boog Nice 10's contest. We're both big Spider-Man fans. Spider-Man's my favorite hero. Those of you that use Spider-Man for your entry, that's a smart thing because I love Spider-Man. He's my favorite superhero. So um, he, he had the same exact comic book cutout I had in my entry. And he had Mysterio using the dragon. And it's the first time I've actually ever seen in an ACBA entry where... There was actually a, a moving character, uh, well, the dragon was actually moving in there. So I thought that was really, really cool. Webbing came out badass. Loved it, man. At number four. We have Hazer Zero. Hazer Zero's entry was awesome as hell. I really, really liked that he had, he had Iron Fist fighting a bunch of Hydra soldiers. So that was really, really cool. He had, he had the nightmare stance against the wall. And it was just Iron Fist kicking ass, and I thought that was really, really original. 
I think Iron Fist is awesome, and just to see Iron Fist in that kind of light, I thought it was a really cool original idea. He had um, really cool foreground stuff. The background wasn't the craziest, but it was it was solid, and um, it was just really, really dope. I just really liked the poses, and that one stuck out to me a lot. That was really, really cool. At number three... <laughs> Arthurus 69. Arthurus 69's entry was sick as hell to me because he did something that I really like and I think he really embodied the whole purpose of this whole face-off thing by just having Ironmonger and Iron Man fighting each other and it, the background wasn't very spectacular and it was really, he put a lot of focus on the two characters poses and it was awesome as hell. Just really really dope pose for Iron Man. I just think he just locked it in and got like the idea of what I wanted um, com compared to a lot of other people. I just think he, he just nailed it with those poses. The, the poses really sold it for me on that one. At number two... We have Darth, Darth Shaggy 316. And Darth Shaggy 616's, uh, 316's uh, entry was awesome as hell. Really original idea of having uh, former wrestlers, The Thing and Spider-Man both in the ring like that. That was great, man. And I just thought the poses were sick as hell. But he added an extra thing in there that I thought was awesome as hell was that he made little cartoons of a bunch of people in the community and including himself. And he had us like in, in the crowd. And I thought that was awesome as hell. I didn't realize I looked like one of the homies uh, figurines. I thought that was pretty funny. But um, I just love that entry. I got a big kick out of that. I just loved it. Of course, it has Spider-Man in it. And I, I just loved that entry. It, it was awesome as hell. And number one. than any of them. Uh, it was really, really, really dope, man. I just loved that. There was just webbing all over the place. It was Spider-Man versus Green Goblin. The effects that he had for the explosion of the glider, that was dope as hell. The webbing looked sick. It was just all over the place. But, um, and the pose that he had Spidey in was really, really cool. Um, but the thing that really sticks, if I gotta learn how to make comic book cutouts like this guy. The best comic book cutouts I have ever seen. I, I didn't think you could do that much with comic book cutouts besides just cut them out and tape them on, but he really got in there. I mean, all the letters were just cut out in perfect shape. It came out so sick, man. So really, really appreciate it, man. It, that was really dope. So those of you that won, please uh, check this part out. Uh, Tell me which figures you want. Again, like I said, you get to choose two figures. i got to ask you to pay for shipping, and then I'll send it out to you. And here's a quick clip of the figures again. Okay, so like I said, um, the winner gets to choose two of the figures in this lot. And then second place gets to choose two. Third place, two. And it just keeps going like that. And like I said before, I can't really afford to ship everything out. So if you don't even want to... You know, if you're like number six and you don't even like what's left and you don't want to pay the shipping, it's all good. I understand. I'll just go to number seven and just go down the list like that, you know? So that right there is a, a G1 commemorative issue track. So that's a reissue and he is missing his gun and his stickers. But that is the WonderCon 2010 exclusive uh, Sinestro. He does have the ring in there. If you want these shipped loose, then, you know, you'll only have to pay for what it costs to ship them loose. Series 4 Electra, Galactus Series Deathlock, Series 7 Vision, and we've got Sentinel Series Omega Red. 
And of course, Legendary Rider Series, Scarlet Witch, Got Comedian, Skids, and Bumblebee, Human Alliance figures, you know. It's the uh, Mighty Mugs Hulk, so. Revenge of the Fallen Starscream, that's the best Starscream figure, I think. Whoa, oh, I don't know, the uh, Leader Class one's pretty badass, too. Okay. So, yeah, you let me know which two you guys want, and I'll just keep going down the list like that for the winners. Now, for those of you that did not win, um, th there's some honorable mentions I want to give uh, s some people that I really, really like. Uh, KJ Hulks, I had a really hard time not putting him in the top six. I love that he had he had uh, Giant Man tearing Ultron in two pieces. That was awesome as hell. Altered by John, I really, really like what he did with the Marvel Universe figures. That was really, really awesome as hell. It didn't even look like Marvel Universe figures. Thought that was great. Uh, Collecticon, he had an amazing backdrop and everything. Really, really cool stuff. I really liked his display. That came out awesome. Uh, Rap 5, hella funny, man. You brought back Ikechi Hernandez. That was really hard not to put in the top six, man. That was great. Thanks a lot, dude. And, um, and then Santo1414 did an awesome entry as well. Really, really dope stuff. Um, you, you guys, uh, a lot of you did some really, really great stuff. Um, and it was a Book Nice 10's entry was actually really, really cool too. I liked his a lot. Um, but I, I felt like that Iron Man didn't fit into scale and I just didn't get the geek factor out of it because I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't feel you on how that fit into scale with the Sentinels. I thought he was too tiny. I just thought he was too small. Ghetto Gypsy's entry was really, really sick too. He did something that really pushed the envelope for him. He had Magneto tearing the adamantium out of Wolverine. That was badass as well. A lot of great entries. I, I liked a lot of them. And if, if I don't mention you, please don't think that I didn't like it. it. I just, you know, just didn't get around to it. But thanks again so much, you guys. And, um, and if anybody doesn't want any of the prizes, let me know because there are people, there are runners up after that six. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you later. Thanks again. Peace. So I'm going to say okay, skip a beat, and we're both going to smile, okay? Big cheesy smile, like nothing's wrong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oi. <sighs> okay. 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 Sick. Okay. 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 Uh. Okay. Uh. Okay.